Hello my friends, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I am Dr. Bahtiar Ren. I have a PhD on operation research. Today I will talk about maintenance and maintainability. I prepared two videos on this, this uh, on the series. Uh, the first one heavily on the focused on heavily on the maintainability and the other one will be on the maintenance. If you are ready, let's begin. My friends, we have two terms, as you know, main, maintainability is shortly defined as the ability of a product to be maintained. Uh, maintenance is a series of collections, series of action items uh, to restore or retain a product, a system into a effective operational state. As you see here, maintainability and maintenance are related to each other, but they are not the same. When we put these two terms, maintenance and maintainability, in one uh, pot, we will see this type of relationship. My friends, uh, as you see here, maintainability in the middle is defined in the design phase and improved by modifications. And maintainability, on the other hand, it, uh, once it's def defined, it affects both corrective and preventive maintenance. As you see here, first we define the maintainability and then this defined maintainability affects corrective and preventive maintenance. Then you may ask simple question, what is the corrective maintenance? What is preventive maintenance? Let's, let's, let's uh, see the definition as you see here, preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance. It's all about even if, uh, either before failure or after failure. If it is uh, a maintenance procedure before failure, we call it preventive maintenance. If a failure happened, occurred, and then we try to uh, fix it, the system, equipment, and uh, product, then we uh, now we talk about corrective maintenance procedures. As you see here, it says, before a failure has occurred, it's preventive. After a failure has occurred, correct the maintenance. I think so far so good. My friends, uh, my friends, maintainability, when we say maintainability, we talk about four uh, parameters. What are these? Four characteristics. What are these? These are the ease of maintenance, accuracy of maintenance, uh, safety of maintenance, and economy of maintenance. If we check all those four uh, parameters, then we are good to go on the maintenance issue. When, but uh, at the same time, at the same time, we have, we define the maintenance, we define the main, I'm sorry, we define the maintainability in three perspectives. What are these? These are maintenance times perspective, maintenance uh, frequency perspective, and Maintenance cost perspective, three, three perspectives. It means if we have a three perspectives, then we have three different perspectives or three different definitions of maintainability. If you are ready, let's review the definitions. The first perspective is about maintenance times. In, in three in all, of, in all of the three definitions, we assume that we follow the procedures, maintenance procedures, as decided, as defined in the maintainability of, uh, procedures. Uh, now, the main, maintainability definition, uh, according to maintainable definition first, based on the maintenance times, we say that it is the probability that an item will be retained or restored to a specific condition within a given period of time. This is the first part, my friends. This is the first part. And when we say it within a, it, it will be retor, retained or restored to a specific condition within a given period of time, we call it maintainability. We call it maintainability first definition. Or we will have not more than x times, uh, we will not more than x times failures, or we will have not more than required x times uh, in a given period. 
either the first one is maintenance times, this one, the second one is about uh, frequency perspectives. It says it is a probability that the maintenance will not be required more than X times in a given period. And the last one, do you remember? The last one is about cost perspective. Then this procedures will for the system will not exceed will not exceed y dollars per designated period will not we will complete the maintenance within a given period of time we will not have more than x required maintenance actions we will not exceed y dollars per designated period periods these are the three perspectives for maintainability my friends, do you remember what we said? The maintainability is defined in the design phase. Yes, in the design phase, maintainability is in the issue. But what are the other issues that we should consider in order to have a successful, in order to have operational ready equipment? When we say in the design phase, we will have many things other than reliability. The maintainability must be considered along with performance, reliability, human factors, producibility, supportability, disposability, life cycle cost, and other factors in the system design. It means maintainability is not the only thing that we should consider in the design phase. These are the elements like performance, reliability, human factors, producibility, supportability, disposability, all everything will be considered in the design phase. I think it is good to go. I think we are good to go. We understand that reliability is important, but it's not the only thing that we should consider in the design phase. Now, when we say, the, what are the ways to improve maintainability? Now, we, we so far we learned three things, three perspectives, cost perspective, maintenance times perspective, and maintenance Frequency perspectives. And we said maintenance, maintainability have four elements. What are these? Do you remember? Ease of uh, maintenance, uh, accuracy of maintenance, security of maintenance, and economy of maintenance. Now, when we combine these four and three, seven elements, now we have seven ways to improve ma maintainability. What are these, my friends? Let's see. These are the design of built-in test points, re reuse of reduced maintenance parts, detailed troubleshooting manuals, easier access for maintenance, increase in self-checking features, discard at failure maintenance, increase in automatic test equipment use. As you see here, we have seven ways to improve the maintainability. I think uh, now uh, we are ready to answer the review questions so that we understand so that we understand uh, the topic very well. My friends, here review questions. The first one: maintenance and maintainability are the same and used interchangeably. Is it true or false? What do you say, my friends? False. They are not the same. They are related to each other, but they are not the same. The second question. What is the name of the maintenance type that is ex executed after or before the failure? After the failure, after the failure, we execute corrective maintenance. Before the failure, we execute preventive maintenance. The third question. Is it true or false question again? Maintainability is the result of maintenance activities. Maintainability is the result of maintenance activities. This is, my friends, false because maintenance activities are the result of maintainability. Vice versa is true, but this is false, my friends. Maintainability, the fourth question, maintainability cannot be improved once the system is put into the use. False, true, false, my friends. Because you remember, 
the diagram that we talk about, we have two ways to improve the maintainability. First one is in the design phase. The other one is modifications. When we do the modifications, we do modifications when uh, after we use it for a while. Then it means we have two alternatives, two ways to improve uh, the maintainability. The last question, maintainability can be defined in terms of in terms of three elements. What are these? These are the cost perspective, times perspective, and the other one, the other one, do you remember? Cost, times, and frequency perspective. My friends, thank you. Thank you, Frequency Perspective. Thank you very much for watching this video. I, I hope you like my video. And I, if you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will uh, try to explain in this detail uh, to my viewers. See you in my next slide that I will mention about maintenance issue and in more depth. Thank you very much for watching again my YouTube channel.